Sorting Nominal Categories Tip Number 1 Nominal categorical bar charts are commonly sorted by alphabetical order, often sacrificing a meaningful visual. When data is sorted by value rather than categories, it results in a sort by rank, exposing more meaningful information to viewers. Sorting Interval Categories Tip number two. When comparative data includes sequential information on an interval scale, choose the correct sort method. Sorting by the logical flow of your dimension will help users more easily understand the information presented. Sorting Ordinal Categories Tip Number 3 Categorical data that contains an intrinsic order can become troublesome if designers overlook the importance of appropriate sorting. Arranging ordinal data in a sequential manner will help end users more easily identify steps in a process, adding much higher value to the visual. Visualizing Distant Plots Tip number 4 When data points are far apart, visuals can become unclear or irrelevant. By using a logarithmic y-axis, focus is shifted to data point comparison with better separation, making the visual easier to read. Visualizing Crowded Categorical Plots Tip number 5 If data points are close together, it's difficult to distinguish variances. By using a matrix, focus is shifted to the numbers, making the visual coherent, and conditional formatting can add context or ranking for easier interpretation. Visualizing Crowded Time Plots Tip number 6 When an x-axis refers to time data points that are close together, variances can be hard to differentiate. Utilizing a line graph will permit an auto y-axis to better display data points. Distributing Multiple Dimensions Tip number 7 Visuals with multiple dimensions are often confusing or difficult to understand. Selection of a visual to represent multiple dimensions is critical in displaying insights clearly. Categorizing Data Plots Tip number 8 Larger concentrations of data can appear muddled and awkward. By simply categorizing data, 
More context is afforded while making the visual appealing and understandable. Differentiating Value Plots Tip number 9 Size is often used to scale data points, but is hard to distinguish depending on variance across data points and plot size. A color gradient scale provides straightforward context that's easier to interpret. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this series, please add your comments below. Remember to tap the bell and share this video. Until next time, stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe and follow us on social media.